Ready? Ah. On the bounce. <laughs> Nice. So that was a very dead silver birch that we pushed over and smashed against the log. Good fun. And we've got to look for uh, a bit better wood now. We'll put that birch on later. It's wet right through, so we'll dry it by the fire. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get something better. So this one's again very dead but it'll be solid in the middle so that's nice we'll split this one down for kindling and all it's just been eaten by insects This is the, uh, the wood we pushed over, and it, I say it's dead and it's rotten on the outside, but that is solid. Yeah, we can incinerate a turkey with that lot, don't we? It's too soon, Rob. Hello, welcome. I'm uh, I'm back out in the woods with uh, Muddy Paws, Mr. Muddy Paws, to you. Um, and the wild camper, who's arrived slightly late, and uh, is uh, setting himself up. But John and I got here a little bit, little while ago, and we uh, we dug a hole, and um, we've processed some firewood, and uh, we're going to have a go at turkey redemption, which is uh, some of you watched my last video. I, t I slightly overcooked the Christmas dinner. That, uh, Rob and I tried the underground oven cooking method but uh, I've given it some thought had discussions with John and uh, we're gonna have another go and the theory being indirect heat is better than uh, 
direct heat. So we've we've got the fire in the pit as same as before, and the plan is to then put some earth on top of those coals, put the turkey on, put some more earth around the turkey, and then put the coals on, and uh, and see how that goes. It may work, it may not. We will see, but uh, it'll be fun finding out. And yeah, so we're just gonna relax and try and cook a better roast dinner than I did last time. Although, pretty sure it was all Rob's fault. So yeah, we're gonna get on, I'm gonna cut a bit more firewood and probably set up my tarp. John's got a, what's John got? Uh, so I've got a, a Polish army poncho tent. Um, <clears throat> they call them larvus, but they're not technically a larvae. Okay. I think that, that belongs to a particular group of um, Scandinavian oh. people. Oh, right. um, but they're, they're known widely as larvae. Okay. I'm be going interested. to erect that now. I'll be interested to see what that looks like. See my erection. Because <laughs> they, they look fun. But anyway, yeah. I think we're just going to chop up a bit more wood and then we're going to set ourselves up and, uh, and then crack open a beer. And have some lunch. Oh yeah, and we'll have some lunch because John and I got here early so that we could uh, make a bacon roll and stuff but I forgot all about it. I think he did too but I'm getting the blame. But uh, yeah, so I might cook lunch. <laughs> I've got the bacon. So it is pretty cold tonight. I think it's supposed to get down to about minus three, possibly somewhere somewhere around that. So Tink's got a coat on early, so she keeps warm. She's got a little scarf, and uh, she's got a sleeping bag and all that sort of thing for later. But yes, we're going to have a big roaring fire, hopefully, and that should keep us warm. Okay. Go. I think I'm going to put my tarp up, and we are we are in exactly the same place as uh, I came with Rob, because we're trying to repeat we're trying to repeat the evening, but making it more successful. So we dug a hole in the same place. I'm going to put my tarp in the same place, and um, and uh, jobs jobs are good. And right, I'm going to get on. John's uh, poncho tent looks well cool. This is pretty sweet, isn't it? Canvas. Enough room for a. I recommend you just shake the centre pole to make sure it's in. Enough room properly. for a man of your That's height. Tink, you go. Tink's just going to go and do a business. <laughs> going to drop a log. Nestle one, sure yeah. done that. Oh, she's right with her muddy feet in there. Yeah, with yeah. her muddy paws. She's not right on mine. She's allowed <laughs> I'll muddy. I'll put that in now. <laughs> muddy paws. That's it. Nice, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? Have a seat with me tonight, Tink. Yeah. Oh, on second fiddle now, am I? Right. Well, that's that's for you. Oh, wow. Bob, that's, that's that looks nice. interesting. That's for you. Do you reckon to for you, sir? Wow, thank you very much. Mm. We're just exchanging gifts with John. 
who skived off last time pretending he was ill. And he's they get excited. Thank you, John. Thank you, Tink. <laughs> now, I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> that is amazing. We're going to build a wall. <laughs> We've got to make camp life great again. I think someone's trying to tell me something. Where's that? Uh, wipes for <laughs> bits and bits. Oh, amazing. Coming handy, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Good, yeah, and, and, some, and some body lotion. <laughs> oh no, body wash. Body wash. Some shampoo. Oh, that's very nice. And so for our next expedition. Ooh, I won't stink. I won't stink. Oh, that's very nice, mate. Hey. Dual action Ooh, fire starter. Ooh, nice. Love the fire starter. Dual yeah. rods. So there's one magnesium. Yeah. Tinder rod and a ferry rod. That's yeah. excellent. I know. I bought myself one as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming Coffee out next bags. trip. That's so brilliant. That's good. Thank you very I'm much. Bringing coffee on this trip. So guess what we're having? Hey. Yeah, I thought you were a learned man. Absolutely. Like Love a bit of this. Ooh, what have we got? What have we got? Love a bit some, of this. Got some bit of quotage. Some ropey quotes. Never Save go my. to the woods with two men. It's my favourite one thing here. Winston, you are drunk, horribly <laughs> drunk. As well. yeah. And you, madam, are ugly, horribly ugly. But in the morning, I shall be sober. <laughs> Winston Churchill? Yeah. Pits and bits. Pits and bits. Body wash, towel off, Shamp shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one? Well, you can use it on any part of your body. Expandable wipes. Good, I'll make that for my wide bottom. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. I like that, and that's good. I'm glad I didn't get that for you now. That's a lid for my canteen no cup. Of no more, no more bits of, uh, yeah. Well, I, I wasn't looking for me. No, I know, <laughs> I realise that. <laughs> I was actually, I, I was thinking about. Uh, so about to thank you very much. You're most welcome. That one? Look at that, it's a sexy uh, gas canister stand. Oh, right. Yeah, none, none of that uh, the plastic rubbish. Plastic no, orange nonsense. MSR. <clears throat> Mm. In the pit. Best. In the pit. I'm going to see if this fits in a minute. I've got my I hope so. I can it somewhere. It doesn't. <laughs> or, or buy a canteen that doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah, do that. It's more practical, that one, John. Is, it, is that what the MP stands for? Yeah. yeah. Most. No, I don't say that. More practical. Yeah. Yeah, glued it in. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I wonder what it could be. I wonder what they could be. <laughs> Amazing. There's a lot, lot of uh, dual, dual gifts. Eh? Amazing. Do you know, They're weighty as well. Did you? Yeah. yeah well, In fact, this is anchor. This is the same as the one you've got. Oh, and it's That's fully charged. Of course. Have you charged them up? Yeah. Oh, you legend. Well, you might have needed. You are perfect. Yeah. I just thought, well, you know, you obviously know where they come oh, from. Yeah. So. Yeah. A, Can't the, say. The, the, the first one was Can't a real say. gift, and that's the uh, top up. Perfect. Oh, good. Love it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, I love my presents. Good. And that's really good. I didn't bring any coffee, so. So um, this is this is my canteen cup that nests, and what John got me because I always suffer with bits of crap in there. I've now got. I've got a lid. Well, cool. Very happy. And I wonder if it'll all pack into the same bit. Let's have a look. So that goes in there. That goes in there. And then the lid. Ha! -ha fits down the side like a glove. Job done. Thank you very much. Carry the rubber's just melted to my skin. Yeah. I did toy with one of those life venture thermal mugs the other day, but. Oh, the lid. Just a bit clunky. So rather than beer at this time of day, I'm having a cup of tea. There's a nice sunset in that direction. We're going to do some bacon rolls in a minute, just to tide us over, and then 
we'll get on with the turkey in a little bit but we're going to leave it a little while so it doesn't overcook So, uh, are you going to burn this one? It's all your fault. Obviously, I had nothing to do with the last one. So, I'm ruining your video again. Yeah, see? A two fingered salute. Victory. Right. So, we've got turkey, roasting bags, foil, goose fat. This turkey says an hour and 50 minutes on the packaging. So, we think. Those underground ovens have a tendency to overcook things. Speaking from experience. So uh, we're going to um, going to give it an hour and a half, aren't we? Yeah. And then get it out and check it. All right. Let's do it then. So the plan is. You feel confident, Dan. To uh, always. Yeah. So the two fires are going. Plan is to put it in a roasting bag in some foil into another roasting bag oh, and into some more foil can one of you gentlemen get me a roasting bag out because I'm all okay. sticky so this is turkey crown which is essentially two breasts on the bone he's in the bag oh yeah oh yeah Ooh, Ramsey eat your heart food porn That'll do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see with that. Let's see. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We made it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good right, that's your lot. That's okay, I've got a bit. Perfect. I'll put that in the bin point. Yep, yeah, please. Something like that. She's all wrapped up. So we've got the hot coals and we're going to cover them in a bit of soil so that the turkey's not directly touching the coals. It's not a big layer, it's just enough. going in. Good luck. Any last requests? Don't burn more. me. And we're going to cover it in <clears throat> more soil. Oh, she's 
<laughs> Anyone like to say a few words? She was a fine bird. Didn't did any wrong to anyone. Get a bit more on top. She didn't die peacefully. And that'll do. And then we're gonna sweep yeah. coals. We're gonna just pack a bit. Yeah, I mean, put some gloves on. I'll just pack it down a bit. And then this this fire is going on top of there. Mostly. I'm mostly coming. In. No, these ones aren't very oh. uh, fireproof. We're going to need another fire, aren't we? Yeah. Do you want these are little bits across them. Professional. We don't have to cover it over, do we? We can just let that burn on top. Mm. Yeah, we could get, get something burning on there as well. Yeah. Right. So then if we get this going again, Press up a bit of wood. Yeah. She's in, as you've seen. We put that on top. We're gonna get some little bits of wood and get that burning again. We're gonna light the other fire and uh, get that burning to keep us warm. And then we're gonna leave it an hour and a half, we think. Does anyone? What's the time? Does anyone know the time? <laughs> Half past five, yeah. half six, so seven o'clock, we'll be digging it up very carefully. <clears throat> right, let's get some wood processed. <laughs> Let's not knock these over. We should put them under the table. Just, oh yeah. It's got to stick them on the par ball now, but that's a bit earlier. Yeah. We're going to save the uh, potato water to make the gravy. <clears throat> I think we have to save some of the water, yeah. The carrot water is probably better, but. Yeah. We've got to roast the mugs anyway, so. Um... Yeah. You'll need. Um, what will you need? Water for the stuffing as well. Boiling water. The potato water is probably all right for stuffing. Uh, 250 ml of boiling water yeah. and 10 grams of butter. Yeah. Good try and some butter. This place. I was going to finish knife work before I start yeah. glugging on that. It's always good to play with knives. Oh, not out. Thank you very much, sir. <coughs> Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. What's Elvis juice? Is it grapefruit? grapefruit it is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Cheers, boy. Happy Christmas. Again. Mm. Happy Ooh. January. Happy January. Dry January. <laughs> <laughs> dry white wine, dry gin. So we've got turkey cooking, potatoes ready, carrots ready. Broccoli ready. What else, good do we need? what else do we need? Stuffing. Stuffing. Yeah. 
We'll make that with potato water. Yeah. Mm. And then drop it in something to... Oh, in one of them silver trays. We yeah. Should. So one silver tray for potatoes. Yeah. One for stuffing. Yeah. We got this. So it's time for Tink to have her dinner. A very dear friend of mine gave me this for Christmas. Because he knows I go out camping with the doggy. It's cute, isn't it? Little, little collapsible bowl. So she's got she's got her own little bowl. Save you having to eat off of a tree stump, Tink, wouldn't it? Wait. Put it down here. Wait. Go on in. Yeah, turkey's been on about an hour. Potatoes are on the stove, part boiling. Rob's chopping a bit more wood. And uh, things are going okay. Yeah. See a little bit of the soil poking out the top now, down there with the turkey. But still got plenty of heat around it. There's plenty of heat coming out the ground. But I notice that we can't hear it sizzling like uh, when I did it last time. It sounded like it was in a deep fryer. But uh, yeah, all I can hear is Tink eating her dinner. But it certainly is cold. Right, where are we now? 20 past seven. Fingers crossed. So uh, it's been almost two hours. We've, no, it's been exactly the time it said on the pack. An hour and 50 An minutes. An hour and 50 minutes. So we're gonna, we're gonna dig this bird up very carefully. There she is. <coughs> it, it looks better than when we, <laughs> it does, we did it, doesn't it? it? Ours was even the, the, the uh, <laughs> tinfoil was burnt. burnt. How does she feel? Stone cold. Doesn't feel super hot. It's very hard to tell. I think I'm going to have to open her up. Is she talking to you at all there? Well, I'm going to just put it there. For now, so that's in the heat. Should build that fire up a bit. Yeah, in the pit. Yeah. <coughs> so the thought was, if it's not quite there, we put it on the grill above the pit because it's been in here. I mean, that is hot. Yeah, it is hot, but it's not. It's not a furnace like it was the other day. So. I'll chop some wood up, yeah. smaller bits, let's get some flame going. Yeah, we're going to fill this up with fire and see where we're at. But yeah, that is... I think it's worth cutting that open and having a look. What do you say? It's quite hot. I mean... Hard to tell with cold hands though, isn't it? Put it, put it, hold it in your yeah, hand. Oh yeah, I just touched it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, 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 it's starting to burn about now. So yeah. it, 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 like you said, that's what you wanted, uh, low and slow. Low and slow. It's nothing. Not a furnace. Okay, so the uh, the grill's in the fire. We're not arguing. We're all <laughs> friends here. Chuckle, chuckle, vision. <laughs> oh, is that too soon as well? <laughs> that's hot. How are we going to get it back out to get the spuds in? What do you mean? Just put, put the, pull the spuds oh, on top? Oh, it's not straight because all the fat's gone to one side. No, oh, no, well, I didn't put it, did and I? And a spark's going to go in there, the whole lot's going to go up in flames. That'd be right. Bland aid. Oh, it's very hot. Hmm. Take a smoking jacket. Should I put that over the top? No, it's stuffing. Oh, it's good. Stuffing. 
So, moment of truth, we're going to check the turkey. Okay, turkey. This is the moment where you redeem yourself. You reckon, do you? I just cut it open. I'm still not sure it's cooked. Dan's been tartan about this for the last 40 minutes or so. Putting it off. They've been pressuring me to open it, and I've been thinking it's not quite there. Try not to tear the foil. Well, if, it, if, it's, if it's overcooked, then it's too bad. <laughs> if it's undercooked, at least we can put it back in. Yeah. Oh, steam. Good. A bit yeah. of steam. Okay. Look at this. Hurry up, we need to check on that stuffing. Yes. <laughs> here it's sizzling. It actually fire, smells then. like roast turkey in here. Funny that, isn't it? Surprise. At this point, a few weeks ago, there's a <laughs> there's sharp of, mess. There's an air of disappointment. Oh. It's certainly kept the uh, goose fat in, hasn't it? Yeah. Cut through it. <clears throat> it's the best thing, isn't it? That looks better. Oh, oh, look at it. Oh, yeah. What happened to the plastic bag? Just there. It's uh, been ingested <coughs> into the meat. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Plastic. So. Oh yeah. Is that, is that, or is it? Take the knife out if it runs. Is it? Perfect. Oh. Yeah, she's done. Hey! <laughs> she would have been done an hour ago as well, you know that, don't you? Well, I think the best thing is for it to go back on that trivet and rest it. Yeah. And rest near the fire. Rest down. Let the juices run into the breast. Oh, rest yeah. is best. Oh. Right. Are you happy? <laughs> Redemption. Oh. Shame you burnt the stuffing now, isn't it? That's your job, the stuffing. Oh, what? Come oh, on. So the turkey is cooked. I can smell the sauce. Nicely. Smell like fairground. So that's a relief. Now we've just got to not mess up all the rest of it. So uh, I'll stop talking and get on. Just thinking of taking that off. Yeah. And putting the. Uh, yep. Oh, the Leave it in there. Straight into some fresh boiling water. Stuffing. It does smell amazing to be fair. It does. Hmm. Look at it. What's precious sport. Whose is this? Mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you don't ruin my things. I'll wipe it on my trousers sorry. afterwards. Just, just don't. Just where I wipe no, my dog it's clean food. enough. It's clean enough. Sorry, not sorry. Go in. Hmm. <coughs> Place, no love turkey. I'm gonna go in. Mm. Would you like turkey, sir? My knife's a bit not up to the job. If only we had like a jack of or something. Oh. It's probably enough, is it? Yeah. Half of it. Oh, yeah, over in the corner. Oh. Oh. If you like that Should sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. She was eating first, didn't he? Oh, oh, right. Cheers, yeah. I've got chef It's Sorry. good manners, isn't it? Oh, manners. Good. Manners? What are they? They make us the man. Mm. That's nice. Perfect. Well done. Mm. Who's got a glass for wine? Someone dig a hole. We'll put this back in the hole. My cup, so. That one? Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, it's thick now. Oh, yeah, it is. It's it? okay. That's all right. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Salud. Cheers. Coming. Hey, well, you can turn your head torch off now. Mmm. <laughs> I think I found the sausage that fell in the fire. 
crunchy. Oh. <clears throat> nice, eh? The turkey, on the other hand. Mm. Yeah, very good. Good job. You got up there, I think. Half a turkey, half a turkey. Yeah. Come here, girl. I think. Look, look what he's got. Oh, lovely. Spit it out. I was going to just about too stupidly ask you how much turkey you had to carry out last time, but there wasn't much to eat in the enough. first place. Just the shells. <laughs> just the <laughs> shells. A couple of burnt husks. Just the natural, uh, the natural turkey shell. Mm. I think. Ready? So we've eaten, haven't we? Sink's had a bit. And uh, stoke the fire back up. And just having a, gla a glass of red wine. But uh, yeah, turkey was really good. So we uh, really happy about that for the uh, brain trust behind it they did well and uh, yeah let's just sit by the fire and warm ourselves up has anyone got a thermometer or not I've got one on my watch which is at home but, uh, yeah let's just sit by the fire relax and uh, drink more wine and uh, I'll come back later She's gone to bed, and I'm going to bed. But I've got to put on my, it's cold tonight, so I'm going to put on my long johns, which have been uh, warming up in my jacket for the last little while. Oh, I've got a neck thing as well. Right. Oh, it's a bit chilly. Hello. Oh, it's a bit cold. Right. That is me done. So for warmth, I say I'm in the military sleeping bag. I got inflatable mattress, so I've got the reflectives underneath. I've got the long johns on. I've got merino wool base layer under here, plus a wool shirt. And that is me. I've got my down jacket there next to me. If I get very cold, I'll put that on, but I'm not gonna have it on for now, because uh, I think once I zip this up and I'm in there, I'll be fine. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.
good morning. Tink's having a Tink's having a morning cuddle in my sleeping bag. She's been up for about half an hour. She went over and saw Rob. She'd gone over and seen, oh, poked her head in John's tent. And then she came back. So I let her in my sleeping bag. And uh, we've been having a bit of a cuddle, haven't we? Haven't we? Yeah. I'm going to get up because I'm cold now. Split some wood. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've never seen feather sticks so good. I think they're pretty good. <laughs> so I've been uh, I've been treated today. John's lit the fire. Rob's made the coffee. I had to make my own. I just uh, I just chopped a piece of wood up. And this is uh, what is it? A coffee bag. Which is a new experience for me. They're pretty nice. Filter coffee mm. in a bag. <clears throat> that doesn't taste bad at all.
Well, it's home time. We're all packed up. I've, uh, well, we've returned the woodland to its natural state and uh, buried the fire and we're all ready to go. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks to Rob and John for coming along and teaching me how to cook a turkey. And um, I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm gonna have a bath. I'll see you later. Come on, sweetheart. Come on.